Hello everyone, it's Rena Davio from Indigenous Student Affairs. Today I wanted to do a quick presentation for everyone, um, just about some of the things that uh, will help you. Uh, first of all, we're going to talk about self-registration for the ISA um, that you can do on D2L and how to do that. We're also going to go through how to book student Zoom and an in-person meeting. We're also going to talk about COVID-19 training that's available on D2L. That is if you are coming to campus, um, as well as the COVID-19 self-assessment questionnaire. Again, that's if you're coming to campus uh, for meetings or to, to look at booking the space. So I will also go through how to book that space in the ISLC for you if you uh, require space to be doing your work through the term. Um, and then there's some special notes just on masks and signage and protocols. So first to get started, how do you self-register for the ISA on D2L? So you would go in and you would log in to D2L. Uh, you would go to your Laurentian, log in, and as soon as you're logged in, you'll see the self-registration at the top left-hand side. Um, and there will be a whole list um, of available registrations that you can do. Um, and I just want you to scroll down because ISA resources is in there. Um, and then you will see Indigenous Student Affairs just like it's marked in the red. And then here it will say not enrolled and you can click on it to enroll. So I've already enrolled, so mine, mine says enrolled. Then once you've done your self-registration, um, you should see that icon pull up onto your main page if you pin, your, pin it as a course onto your, your page. So here I have my thesis because I'm doing my PhD. Um, I have the COVID-19 training and then the ISA Student Affairs, the ASA resources. So once it's up there um, and you pin it, then every time you open it, you will see it there. Um, and then you can click on it for all the videos and resources that we have. So let's move to how you book with us. Um, if you're requesting Zoom or in person, we want everyone to know that um, even though we are working remotely, that we do have uh, time slots available uh, every day through the term for you to be able to book. So uh, whether that, you know, you just want to have a meeting with somebody, you want to go over some work, stuff like that. So you would go to your My Laurentian page, you would go to your student portal and in your My Laurentian page, when you scroll down, you'll see the icon and you'll see a little tab that says book an appointment. So once you scroll down, there's a list of different services that are available. And once you scroll down, you're going to come across Indigenous Student Affairs. There's a brief description um, about us. And then the ISA consists of the following people. Now, it's marked here in two, with two red circles, Indigenous Counselor and Student Engagement with Cynthia Belfit, and then the Indigenous Learning Strategist, with his, my, which is myself. Um, and you can easily go and you would click on the little tab for book an appointment. From there, uh, for Cynthia and myself, our time slots come up. So these are through the central booking system. So when you book an appointment, um, you can pick a time slot to book. And then when you click on it, so for example, I'm going to, with circled in red, I'm going to pick Tuesday, September 29th at 9.30 a.m. for myself. And all I would do here is I would look to make sure that I'm booking with the right person. I would look at the date, September 29th, 9.30 to 10.30, and then a little description of the, appoint of the appointment. Now in here, you can put either, you know, you're just requesting a Zoom session because it automatically defaults to a Zoom meeting, or you can put in here, uh, you are requesting an in-person meeting, and that way the staff um, in the ISA know that you'll be coming to campus for an in-person meeting if that's what you're requesting. And again, you can put just a brief description uh, of what kind of service that you're seeking. So here I just said I need help with APA formatting. Um, and then you would click the submit booking. And so just as easy as that, and then we get a notification that you have booked an appointment with us um, and we can either reach out to you or um, we can, we can see how the appointment goes, right? So now here you've got, if you decide that you want to come to campus and you would like an in-person meeting or you are requesting workspace uh, in the ISLC because we do have limited workspace um, stations set up, 
So if you plan on doing that, you will have to go back to your self registration. So you've already gone in, you've already registered for the ISA and that's popped up. But if you're coming to campus, either to utilize workspace or to come up for an in-person appointment, you're gonna have to complete the COVID-19 training on the D2L. So you'll be going back to the self registration and then under the self-registration, again, you're going to scroll down and you're going to see HS COVID and it's the COVID-19. Here's what you need to know. Um, and again, because I've already done the training, it indicates that I'm enrolled. So you would just click on it um, and enroll yourself. And then you would have to go through uh, the training, complete the training and receive that certificate that you've completed the training. So this is how you would book that space. So if you're coming in, um, if you're coming in for an appointment and you've booked in-person appointment, then it gives us an indication that we can meet you at the center for that appointment. Um, if you're coming to work at the ISA, if you'd like some space, you have to send us an email at isa at laurentian.ca and you'll need to indicate the date and the time that you're going to require. Then you're going to have to go and complete that training on the D2L but you also have to fill out a COVID self-screening questionnaire. So this will have to be done on the day that you're coming in to campus. So each and every time that you're planning to come to campus, you have to fill out this questionnaire because there is a day stamp um, for each day. So I've included the link here. So if you click on it, it comes up. There's three questions. You answer the three questions. And once you've answered that survey and you've received what's called a pass, then you will need to send a, a picture or a screenshot pass to the ISA at Laurentian.ca. So this is what it looks like. So when you log, when you, when you go to the, the website, the survey, uh, .laurentian.ca, when you go, this is what it looks like. And it actually says it would like you to complete the self screening tool daily before you arrive on campus. Um, and then there are three questions in the survey. So here's a quick example of the screenshot that I did when I went to campus. I went and I filled out the self-assessment. This is the pass, so I answered the questions. And I got the pass, and it gives you the date that it was completed. So they want to know the date um, and that it, the date matches the time that you're on campus. So you're going to have to email a photo or a screenshot of that self-assessment pass. So I just take a screenshot and send it in. Um, and send it to the ISA at Laurentian.ca on the day that you're coming to campus. So there are some special notes um, that I'd like people to be aware of, and that is that we do have disposable masks and hand sanitizer at each set of doors to the ISLC. Um, to reduce the risk of COVID-19, we are asking that you use the front door, which is across from the hub, as the entrance only, so to come in. And then the other set of doors that are down at the atrium to use those as the exit only. Um, and then once you're in the center, there's also directional arrows on the floor that indicate which pathway should be followed. So again, if you're coming to the center, you're going to be assigned a workstation. Um, and I want to remind people that that station will be thoroughly sanitized before you visit, um, as well as after your visit. So masks do not have to be worn while you are seated at a workstation. However, please make sure that you store your disposable or cloth mask in a container or a plastic bag. So we're asking that you do not leave your mask in direct contact with other surfaces, such as a table or chairs, um, things like that. If you leave your workstation or your work area, you may need to have to wear your mask. So for example, if you're going to the bathroom, you have to exit out the back uh, atrium door and you'll have to have your mask on. Um, please do your best to maintain your six feet distance between you and others in the center. Um, and so let's just keep everybody safe. So use your discretion if you, if you feel that maybe you can't do six feet or that you feel that maybe you're too close, then you can always put your mask on. Thank you.